President Trump wants you to know you can sleep well tonight. That was his message as he returned from Singapore, declaring he had solved the North Korea problem at his summit with Kim Jong-un. But experts may be staying up late trying to figure out exactly what the leaders agreed to. There is some difference of opinion in Washington and Pyongyang. Weijia Zhang is at the White House for us. Weijia. A tired President Trump emerged from Air Force One this morning, back in the U.S. after his Singapore summit with Kim Jong-un. I believe that Chairman Kim wants to get it done. The president declared on Twitter, there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea and sleep well tonight. His counselor, Kellyanne Conway, contradicted the message. So obviously that has to be complete, verifiable and irreversible. That will take a while. But that language, verifiable and irreversible, okay. was not in the joint statement signed by the president and Kim. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, in Seoul to brief South Korean and Japanese officials, told reporters who asked why those words were not included, I find that question insulting and ridiculous and frankly ludicrous, arguing they are implied. President Trump has tasked Pompeo with negotiating the details of North Korea's denuclearization. Today, he said he expected a major disarmament by the end of Mr. Trump's first term. On state media, North Korea had a different take, announcing a longer time frame and saying President Trump had agreed to lift sanctions. Two men, two leaders, one destiny. As a persuasion tool, Mr. Trump showed Kim this White House produced video. The video and Mr. Trump's embrace of Kim has concerned many who point to his abysmal human rights record. But Republicans defended the president's efforts. It's a terrible regime. They've done terrible things and they've been deceitful in the past. But it's really important that we disrupted this status quo like the president has. Weijia joins us now. Weijia, how North Korea disarms and how the U.S. verifies that is central to this agreement. So what do, what do we know about the details of that? Well, Secretary Pompeo says he expects to start engaging North Korea next week, adding they have already agreed to more terms that are not in that official document. So that's where the next conversation will kick off. And to shore up more support, he'll be heading to Beijing tomorrow to brief Chinese officials. John. Weijia, thanks.